Nobody will lose their jobs if they know their jobs. We're trying to train them to do their jobs and do their jobs well. Um, clearly, we need to bring in more people into the civil service. Um, but before we bring in more people, we want to make sure we're clear as to what they will come and do when they are, you know, um, when they are hired to come into the civil service. Uh, the, 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 the fact is that government cannot deliver services to the people if the civil servants who are supposed to help government do so are not properly trained. So this, is, this facility has been built. People have been brought in to handhold civil servants, to train them, to understand what their challenges are and to make, you know, design, redesign the system to help them work better. But those who cannot cope, those who don't want to change, those are the ones that are likely to have problems. But even then, the, the, our last option will be to ask, ask anybody to go. Uh, we will do all we can to try and get people, get them to improve, improve on their services to, to the people of Edo State. So that is the purpose of this. Um, we have started by tr bringing them out, training, um, giving them information, exposing them to technologies, and holding them. And we're going to do this for a while. And uh, also bringing more people into the service. Uh, like you saw from the presentation, the civil service, is, it's age, <coughs> well, put it, the average age is about 45 years. We need to bring in a lot more younger people in to reduce that. In the next um, five to seven years, 50% of the people in the service now will be retiring. Uh, we don't want to wait till then before we now begin to bring in people. Let's bring in younger people who they will train, who they will, you know, they will pass on some of the experiences to so that we can strengthen the system itself.